What's going on guys, it's Craig Tech360. Today I'm going to show you how to do a phase one and phase two on a fire call on the elevator systems. Alright guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Alright, so then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your fire operations panel and it's usually on the lowest floor in whichever building you're in. So this is going to be ground level. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your key in. You have three sets. Yeah, reset, off, and on. And you're going to take your barrel key, you're going to put it in, you're going to turn it on. Now you're going to see your fire operations light up. Now what that's going to do is that's going to call all your cars that are in your lobby down to the ground floor. And once it gets to the ground floor, we'll take it from there. All right, so as you see, it's calling all the elevators down to the ground floor. Okay, that's phase one. That basically shows that it is calling all elevators to the floor. That's what you want. Now, phase two. Come on in. We'll show you what phase two is. All right, so once you're in your car, you go to your fire operations panel, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna look. Now, as long as your fire helmet's on, that basically means everything's in fire operations. So, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your barrel key, and you're gonna go in here to this one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take it, try and take them off, and you're gonna put it on on. Now, what that does is that activates this car alone. So let's say we're gonna go to five, okay? now. With it in fire operation mode, it is not going to, the doors will not close and they will not open on their own. You're going to have to manually do it and there's a reason and I'll explain it to you. So once you pick your floor, you're going to go close and you want to hold it the whole time until it closes. Once the doors close, the floor will go up to where it needs to go. Now, when you get to the floor that you chose, it will not open on its own. And the reason being is because you do not want these doors to open if there's a fire on that floor. So what's going to happen is that when you get to the floor, it's going to stop. And then what you can do is you can just hit bump and let off of it. And what that does is that makes sure that if you push this button, it's going to open, but as soon as you let off of them, they're going to close. And the reason they do that is because if you get to that floor and there's firefighters loaded in the elevator and they go to bump this, in, or if these doors open up automatically and this whole floor is going up in flames, all that fire can come in and burn everybody out. So they manually do it and they bump the doors just to peek out. If there's fire, they let go and it shuts. And they move to another floor or they go out in a different direction. Okay, well, so obviously this function works. That's phase two. So it does open and as soon as you let off, they close like they're supposed to. So that's good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back down to the lower level where we started. And it's gonna do the same thing. It'll be, once you get there and it rests, the doors will not open. They're gonna stay shut for the same reason I explained, in case there's fire. They can go in there, like right now, like let's say if there's a fire, we can go, okay, there's no fire, so you can hold it and get it all the way open. Then you can take it when you're done, turn the key back to off, and that puts it back the way, the way it was and the rest. Now, there's also another, another function on here. Uh, I, I'll go ahead and show you guys that too. There's a function on here that's off, hold, and on. Now, let me show you what, what hold does. So let's go to floor two. We're going to close. Now, what hold is, is once you get to your floor, <clears throat> and let's go here. Now, we're going to open the doors. Now, hold, what that'll do is if, let's say, okay, they're going to work on this floor, well, they're going to put it on hold, and they're going to pull that key out. What that'll do is that'll hold the elevator doors open and keep the car here on this floor. So when they leave out, and they go and do whatever they're gonna do, they can guarantee when they come back, this car will be on this floor waiting for them. That's not gonna just take off and go somewhere else. So this car will stay on this floor as long as it's on hold. Now, like I said, when they're done, they can go back in, put it on off, and then go back down to lower level. sitting here because everything's still in fire mode now take everything back out of fire mode and put everything back in normal operations what you're going to do is put your key in while it's still on on and you're going to take it and you're going to turn the key you're going to turn the key counterclockwise counter back over to reset 
hit reset, then off. The light goes out, elevators go back in normal function, and that's how you do That's your phase one and phase two inspection. Now, different people do them differently. There are more things you can do with these inspections, but those are your basic general inspections. That's what I do, and that's how you can do it. So if you have any questions or comments, comment below. Don't argue, don't fight. Until next time, guys.